Holidays are here and I know sometimes it's hard to find shoes for sneaker heads. So today I'm gonna to be giving you guys 15 different affordable Air Jordan sneakers under 300 bucks. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. The Air Jordan 4 Midnight Navy. Now this shoe in particular is not exactly the same as the white cement Air Jordan 4, which has been coveted for years and we always love to see that one retro, especially with the Nike Air on the back. But these are similar to that shoe and a lot of sneaker heads still appreciate this colorway. So I think these would definitely be a good gift for a sneaker head. Next up on the list, we have have a highly slept on shoe and is the fire red air jordan 3. these are reselling right around the retail price and that's a good thing because this is a classic model and a classic og colorway and i can guarantee you right now this shoe is going to go up in value and you're going to be mad that you didn't get it now because later you're going to be spending 350 400 bucks on this same exact shoe some people may say i'm crazy but just give it a couple years it's going to happen so not only is this a dope colorway but a great investment for a young sneakerhead as well if they're just getting into the game because this will be a valuable asset to their collection later down the line now i know there's been a lot of hype behind air jordan ones and honestly i'm really surprised about this one we got the taxi air jordan one and these are hitting just over retail price as well right under that 200 dollars mark but retail on jordan ones used to be 170 pushing up to 180 but either way these are a very affordable price to get right now saying that they came out earlier in the year and you can still grab this shoe for right around that same price i think they did a really good job on the colorway and the materials and then obviously the air jordan one has been a really hyped up model over the past few years some people say it's fizzling off but at the end of the day the jordan one will always be around and if you're a steelers fan like me this is definitely a cop let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section if you do have any of these shoes let everybody else know as well how you feel about them because some people may be interested in purchasing some of these and we want to give everybody as much feedback as possible to help them make the best decisions for gifts for other people or for themselves as well and before we get into the next shoe if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the dna show hey! But with all that being said, let's take it to the next shoe. And that's the Jordan brand holiday special Air Jordan 11 Cherry. Every year for the past 10 plus years, Jordan brand has been releasing Air Jordan 11s to the public during the Christmas time in December. And that's become the new holiday sneaker that everybody goes after each and every year. So the shoe hasn't come out yet, but right now the resale market, if you wanna get it early or lock in a pair, you can find these for under 300 bucks or you can try to be patient and get the shoe for the retail price, which I will be making a video on how to cop this shoe for retail, but that's gonna be around that $200, $220 mark. I don't know the exact retail price, I still gotta look it up. But either way, if you wanna save that 50 or 60 bucks, you can be patient and wait during that time. But again, if you strike out, the resale price might end up going up in value later to that $300, $350 price point. Typically, that's how it goes when it comes to Jordan 11s, when it comes to the holiday releases. So that's always something to take into account when you think about picking up the latest Air Jordan 11s for the holiday. Next up on the list is a shoe that not that many people talk about, but every time you do talk about it, people love it. And it is the Air Jordan 6 UNC. I'm personally a huge fan of Air Jordan 6s, so I had to put these on the list, but I think the colorway is extremely dope. Some people don't like the tag on the back end of the foot, but at the end of the day, I know a lot of people that really do like this shoe, and they did a really good job when it comes to materials and to say that these are hitting for under 250 bucks just over the retail price point to me i think that's a really good deal sixes take about three to four years to go up in value but once they start hitting next thing you know they can be a 350 or 400 dollars shoe so again potentially a good investment or a great gift for somebody to hold on to and have in their collection wear it and if they decide to sell it or trade it they'll still be able to maintain that same value in the sneakers so that's always the thing that i like to think about too i know not everybody likes to talk about value and all that stuff because these may be gifts and those things but it is always cool to know being a sneakerhead that you can trade different models and work your way up and get different things so i like to talk about it and mention it at the same time too just for those that are thinking about that next up we got three dope colorways when it comes to these so we're gonna go rapid fire on this one we have the air jordan one low neutral gray the white and gray colorway extremely clean you can literally rock these with everything it's a low og cut some people may be complaining about the swoosh size and all the other stuff but at the end of the day we always know the retro lows compared to the og lows the og lows just tend to be better when it comes to quality materials cut and overall look on the foot so that's why i'm using three og low colorways for this video so that one in particular has been everybody's favorite shoe. And to see the price be just over that $200 price point, some resale shops might be selling it for more, but you can guaranteed get it for under 300 bucks. That shoe in particular, I have multiple pairs of it. My wife has multiple pairs of it. All my friends have multiple pairs of it. That's a shoe that you just love to have any time of the year, a great gift. And I probably, I can't guarantee you, but I could say, 
a lot of people are gonna be really, really happy if you got this shoe for them because it's like an everyday essential. People are gonna be excited to have this and rock it in their rotation. So for that one in particular, I had to put on the list. And to go alongside with that one, something that's even more affordable, the UNC Air Jordan 1 Low OG. This colorway is extremely clean. I like the materials. I like how they did this shoe. I'm excited to have these in my collection. Again, I know friends and family that have it in their collection. They rock them all the time. And to see these going for just over retail, it's kind of crazy to me because there was a lot of hype and then now it's kind of slowly fizzling down and obviously you know the economy everything is just kind of rough right now so i get that as well so we're trying to find the best affordable options but when it comes to low ogs the unc air jordan one low yeah you cannot go wrong with these it's got that black toe vibe to it i know you can't wear it with every single outfit but i can guarantee you when you pull it off with a fit they definitely look clean on foot and for the third og air jordan one low we got the mystic navy air jordan one so these are similar to the royals except for it's got more of that navy vibe some people did and did didn't like the mixture of materials and how they finish the leathers because it's a little bit more shiny on the black and duller on the navy areas so it kind of gives you that weird kind of contrast when it comes to the sheen of the shoe and how it goes with your outfit and everything like that that is something to take into account if you haven't seen the shoe in person yet but what i can say is again i have that shoe as well it's in my rotation i wear these and it's a dark shoe so i can wear it in the fall time anytime in the summer whatever i want to rock the shoe it's a great shoe for any type of weather but i love the sneaker i think it's a great affordable option as well and i'm sure a lot of people that have this shoe they can comment down below in the comment section how they feel but i'm sure you know maybe eight out of ten or nine times out of ten people are still satisfied with the shoe based on the price and the model and the colorway and how universal it is with different outfits and things like that so for me, had to put it on the list. Now let's take it to the next shoe because we got some more bangers to get through. And that is the Olympic Air Jordan 7. Now I've been slowly, patiently waiting for the price to go down on these and it's starting to get to the point where I'm ready to pull the trigger. I don't have these yet in my collection, but seeing the size 13 hitting for around 250 bucks and the retail was around low 200s, to me that's like indicator, like I'm ready to cop. I know for a fact, okay, again, I keep saying I know for a fact, but I have a strong feeling that these are going to go up in value and I'm going to be happy that I got them now and not only for the value purposes but for the fact that I don't want to be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and the next thing you know they start going up in value and then I'm like damn now I got to pay 400 bucks 600 bucks whatever it is and some people say how do you think that this shoe is going to be worth 600 700 800 bucks well if you look at the trends in the past from the trophy room collection any of the models we're talking jordan 16s jordan 17s even the higher models that not that many people like even if you look at those right there the resale prices are going to be around that 600 700 800 bucks for those higher models as well so when i think about a number like this when it's the air jordan 7 in the same trends because this is what happened before i remember the 23s were sitting people didn't even want them they didn't even want to pay retail and then you look at the resale prices now and it's double all that stuff and everything so i think you give it a little bit of time it's more limited than a classic gr sneaker and because of that the price is going to shoot up and you're going to be happy that you got the shoe now and that's why i'm on the hunt to get the shoe because i wasn't able to get it for retail but for it to hit just a little bit over retail definitely a sneaker that i plan on adding to my collection in the next couple weeks so stay tuned for that because i will be getting those and you know i'm going to be making a review for you guys as well but anyways i think that's a great pickup a great addition for your collection or a great gift for somebody getting something that's a little bit more different a little bit more exclusive you know what i'm saying you don't want to have something that's like everybody got this type of shoe so i think for the switch up and something like that and if you think this is a good model that fits for somebody as a gift i think this is a great option for this price speaking of another great option when it comes to materials this next one right here is a great shoe we got the unc to chicago women's air jordan one now these came out in extended sizes and i do have these in my collection so they did make a 14 and a half in women's to fit me in a size 13. this was a extended size run so that means a lot of people can purchase this shoe and a lot of people slept on this shoe but i'm telling you right now and again you can ask people in the comment section the materials on this shoe they did a really really good job and to see these hidden for just around 200 250 bucks i think is a great affordable option anybody that has this shoe is going to be excited about it they're going to love it as soon as they get the shoe in hand because i'm telling you the materials are nice i think this colorway is extremely dope again you can't wear this with every single thing but as another gift for a sneakerhead i think they would appreciate it so i figured we had to put these on the list now if you're looking for something that's a little bit cheaper or something that you could find in a retail store you have the heritage air jordan one now the retail on these is 170 bucks 
but resale right now is around 140 to 150 bucks. So you might be able to find these on sale or you can just go the retail route. But if you went the retail route, you might be paying more money. So it all depends on where you find the shoe at and who you get it from. But at the end of the day, you can either get this shoe for retail or below retail. Some people love it, some people hate it. There was a lot of hype behind it until it came out. Next thing you know, the price is plummeted. That's when the whole market of everything started to plummet. So it all kind of made sense, it aligned with that. But either way, if you think that somebody likes more of a brighter shoe like this with the more dominant white color on it, this would be a great option. Definitely when it comes to something that's around that $150 price point and that's not even breaking into that $200 or $250 price point. Now next up on the list, we have the Air Jordan 4 Infrared. So this shoe right here is very affordable when it comes to Jordan 4s because if you look at all the 4s that are out right now that are coming out or that recently came out in the past, they're all at like 350 400 450 500 600 all those prices are extremely high so it's slim pickings when it comes to jordan fours but i think this infrared colorway i don't think it's the best one ever but at the same time you can mix it with a lot of different outfits and it's not like it looks like a terrible shoe this is definitely a shoe that i wouldn't mind having in my collection so i'll make sure i put it on the list and again there's a bunch of other shoes that we didn't get to put on the list and i hope that you guys can put those down in the comment section as well for affordable options under 300 to help everybody else out but either way i think this is a really good shoe seeing these around 250 bucks when it comes to the resale so if you want to add this to somebody's collection or get it for yourself i think it's a good price point right now and again i think these could potentially go up to that 325 350 just a little bit more time from now maybe by next summer or something like that now next up right here we got the double whammy we got the dj khaled air jordan fives now we got the sale colorway and we got the crimson bliss and honestly i was surprised by this i didn't think they would go down to that 250 dollar price point hitting just over retail. We know the shoe recently came out and there was a lot of hype before it. We were seeing prices around thousand dollars and different things like that. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe the shoe might be worth, you know, 350, 450, somewhere around there. And then in time it could potentially go up, but we know it's an Air Jordan 5 and not everybody likes Air Jordan 5s, the way it may fit on the foot, how big the tongue is, different things like that. The bubbles around the ankle which i talked about before the cali fives don't have the bubbles around the ankle so it does give it more of a sleek finish to the shoe around the ankle area but again the tongue is pretty large i know it's not as padded as the other one is so that does gives you again more of a sleek look but again it's still a bulky shoe so i understand if some people don't like it so maybe you should do a little bit of background research before you go and purchase this shoe for somebody now i think they will like it either way because of the materials they did a really really good job on the materials when you think of standard air jordan fives and you think of a collaboration type shoe like this typically when you see a collaboration you're going to see nicer materials on a shoe if you want to see a full review of the entire set of the purple blue sail and crimson i have that on my channel as well if you guys want to check that out but either way they did a really good job on this shoe and i think it's well worth having in the collection i'm glad to have these in my collection i love the shoes i think they did a really good job i wouldn't say this is sneaker of the year or anything like that but but overall i think it was a nice collaboration especially with this being dj khaled's first collaboration that actually came out to the public now next up right here we have the air jordan one high og rebellionaire now there was a lot of hype behind this and we thought like yo this might be a thousand dollar shoe 800 bucks something like that and then the price just kept going down it's finally starting to settle so right now you're gonna be able to find these for 275 300 325 depending on who you're buying from 250 you know it all may vary depending on sizing and different things like that but the rebellion era i think is another great option again i have these in my collection i love the shoe i think they did a really good job on these and i'm interested to see uh, what happens with this shoe in the future? I think everybody that has the shoe likes the shoe and not that many people bought it if they didn't like it. And some people aren't really like investing into this shoe and different things like that. So I think if you find that somebody actually likes this sneaker, I think this would be a really good gift for them because again, not every single sneaker is about investing into it and all the other things. It's simply like at the end of the day, buy what you like or get what you think somebody may like because this is a gift video. But either way, <laughs> I think that this is a great shoe uh, for the people that do like it. So if you like these, definitely a cop. If you don't like them, pass up on them. I can completely understand. It's got a lot of stuff going on on the sneaker. And again, I've done a full review on these in the past as well. If you want to see more details or more storytelling about this sneaker. So I'm interested to see what you guys think. Hopefully this was helpful. If you guys want to see any other videos like this, let me know down below in the comments section and happy holidays. I'll see you on another one. All right, y'all. I'm out.
Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.